guys. I've just set up the center of our spindle pulley here with the impact tolerant touch probe from Hallmark Designs. Uh, I'm really starting to like this. It's nice to have this to do your setups. Very good for finding edges and centers. So now we're going to machine three pockets for these steel pins to go into and these are going to be our drive dogs for our spleen shaft. Engage the pulley. They'll just engage the spleen shaft like, like so. Alright, so let's get the tool in there and we'll get started. Alright, I've got it set up now. Got the, This is a quarter inch four flute end mill. I don't have a two flute long enough so I'm using a four flute and we're going to be going about uh, 0.87 deep. We're going to be running at 3,000 RPMs and we're going to be doing a spiral cut of about 40 thousandths. So let's get started.
All right, so you can see how it's going to look. And then the pins, the pins will just kind of fit in there like so. Now, I'm going to sneak up on this because these are press fit. And I want to make sure that I've got it up right. So what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to rerun it and add some tool wear to it just to open that up just a little bit. I only need about a tenth. Not much more than that. And I'll just kind of sneak up on it. Alright, I've added a tenth to the diameter for tool wear and we're going to rerun it. Just went back to make sure that those were cleaned up. Still a little tight. Might be able to press that in now. It's going to be close. So all I did was just add uh, a tenth to the wear on, in my tool table. So for tool number five, I just add a tenth to the diameter wear here, and that will tell Mach 3 to make it a tenth bigger in diameter. So if you want to just ease up on your diameter and get the perfect fit, that's the best way to do it. That way you don't have to modify your G-code. All right, so let's get this out. These are going to have to be trimmed down, so I'm going to trim these down and face them on the lathe, and then we'll press them in. All right, so the pulley turned out really nice. Uh, these pins are 5 sixteenths, and they're 1 inch long, so I had to cut them down to about... 0 0.770 and they're just going to press in and I'm going to use a little bit of the blue Loctite just to make sure that they stay in there so now let's take it over to the press and we'll press them in Just takes a little bit. Kind of got this in the way here. Make sure it's all the way down. Just repeat for the other three. More blue Loctite. Just happen to have these pins these aren't tool steel you could use tool steel if you'd like but these were just uh, steel pins I had all right so you can see the finished pulley 
with the pins pressed in. Now I may have to come back and file some flats to get it to fit over the spleen. Um, and that's the way I designed it so that, I don't know if you can see the flats on there, so it'll be a nice tight fit. But then this will just, let's see if I can show you here. So this is the piece that the pulley will engage. It has the splines inside. This is down inside your gearbox. And then this pulley rests on here and sits down on top of, right here is a snap ring. So this will go down like so and engage that. And then on top of that, we'll screw on our top hat. And that will keep it all secure. And you can kind of see how it's going to be assembled. Alright, so that wraps up this video. Stay tuned in the next video. I am going to try to broach a keyway in the motor pulley. Thanks for watching the videos guys. Please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. If you're interested in any of the plans for the CNC conversion for the Precision Matthews, the Mini Mill, or the G0602, stop by and visit the website. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.